What up, players? It is Warbots Stay Up in this mug. Welcome to a showcase review, kind of wrap up of this Necron Cryptech that I painted for a commission. You can see that uh, that fine cast staff is it's seen better days. I think, I think when they developed the sculpt for this guy, they they did not intend for his staff to be all bent and twisted. But unfortunately, fine cast uh, just didn't do very well with it. I. Uh, tried everything. I, I put the model in hot water and I tried holding it. I, I used a blow dryer on it. I think because the piece is so, I guess, big, long, and it's supposed to be straight if it's got so many bends, bends and, and kinks in it, no matter what I did, if I tried to straighten it by holding it, uh, holding a certain part, uh, straight the edge would kind of warp and and then I'd have to hold that straight and then the first part would warp or like a new bend would develop there was no way that I found I could fix this staff so unfortunately um, it's gonna have to look like that but I think I don't know I wonder if Games Workshop designers knew and that's why they have the staff kind of angled the way they do rather than holding it out in front of the model or up over its head because then you could really see how how bent and just terrible it is. The way it is, if you look at the model straight on, you can't really tell because the the most bent part, the warped part, is is the longer part of the staff, which is the part that's hidden by his legs. I don't know. Is it a desi design decision? Is it just something that happened? Who knows? The color scheme is the one that Games Workshop provided for their normal dark green and silver. Necron army, but he has those Nihilak dynasty plates that I kind of use the uh, White Dwarf. You might remember the White Dwarf with you that I filmed a couple weeks back. It has the Nihilak dynasty color scheme on it. I think it looks really, really great. And I was thinking that to match the other Necrons that I painted for this same client, I would go with whatever they had, whatever the color scheme was for the Cryptek they have in their studio. But this is the only one that they use. If you look at all of the Necron products or articles or anything where they have that silver and black with green highlighted Necron army, they've got this Cryptek with the blue plates. So I think that's why they do the black and green on the staff so you can kind of tie it into the rest of the army. But I like that he's got the, that, that blue, I guess, kind of distinction. He's really going to stand out in the rest of the army. No one's, no one else has these blue, blue plates in, in the um, army that I painted. So besides the staff, the green, I, I, I love painting this kind of bright reflective green. It reminds me of the warp stone from uh, the Skaven in Warhammer Fantasy or Age of Sigmar. It's great fun to paint going up from the black to the Dark Angels green to the warp stone glow to the moot green. Just finding the place to highlight and to, to dull down and then tying it all together with, uh, I believe it was BL10 green. Just so much fun to do. I, as a painter, I had a lot of fun. Hey, if you want to really give some character to your Necrons, try this. After shading it with known oil, which you should do anyways because uh, black is the perfect shade for silver. Before you highlight it back up with the Runefang steel, add some selective spots of Seraphim Sepia, like under the under the arm there, on the inner thighs, on the lower parts, uh, maybe down on the calf or the front, where the, uh, gosh, what's it called, shin of the model is. They It creates this really interesting oily brown look that I think the Necrons just look terrific in. I, I, I wouldn't go overboard, I wouldn't do the whole model in Seraphim Sepia because then it just looks like a like a junkyard mess and um, I, I, I do think that that bright silver kind of fading to that dull iron, dark iron and then with those patches of, of brown oil. You can see on his left arm there I did the lower half of his hand, the inner workings of the forearm and uh, but I left the top part of the forearm and the upper arm and the top part of the hand that bright silver over. It creates a really cool contrast. Very interesting to look at and I, th I think it's it's gonna do you really good. So if you Necron painters out there, if you had never heard that tip, I hope you try it and see how it works for you. All right, thanks for watching everybody. If you'd like to commission me to paint something for you, you can contact my studio at warbostastestudios.com, all one word, warbostastestudios.com, or just email me, warbostastestudios at gmail.com, or 
obviously you can leave a comment down below, send me a message here on YouTube. Also check out my Facebook, my Twitter, all that stuff. And if you want exclusive content, check out my Patreon feed. It's got so much stuff there that uh, I haven't been posting up on YouTube. And uh, I hope you like it. All right, thanks for watching everybody.